Farm salmon is BC's largest agricultural export. The BC Salmon Farmers Association proudly represents the more than 6,000 men and women in coastal BC who bring fresh, nutritious and delicious BC farm salmon to dinner tables worldwide. People are eating more fish every day. By 2030, the world is expected to eat nearly 70% more fish than it does now. Wild fisheries can't keep up. One answer is aquaculture, and farm-raised salmon provides an affordable, delicious, lean protein source with heart-healthy benefits. The best way to learn about salmon farming in BC is to take a farm tour. Since not everyone can go on a tour, we want you to have an opportunity to see how we grow healthy fish and how we protect the marine environment. The health of our fish and quality of our product depend upon careful selection throughout the life cycle. Even before the eggs hatch, the salmon eggs and milt for the next generation are taken from specially selected brood or parent fish. Healthy parents produce healthy young fish. The first 12 months of life is at an on-land hatchery. After the eggs hatch, the newborn salmon utilize their yolk sac for nutrition during the first few days of life. First feeding coincides with the absorption of this yolk sac. Good nutrition is paramount for the developing fry, and the very best ingredients ensure that these young fish have a strong, healthy start in life. Before the young fish are transferred from the hatchery to a saltwater farm site, they are vaccinated. This vaccine will build their immune system, providing protection from microorganisms commonly found in the marine environment. Once the young fish are ready to transfer to the ocean, they are called smolts. The success of this transfer from fresh to salt water is critical to the long-term health of the fish. Therefore, the farmer pays particular care and attention to their feeding and health. On the farm, the workday starts with salmon farmers inspecting the site and analyzing water conditions. Farmers measure water temperature, dissolved oxygen, salinity, and collect plankton samples, all to make sure that the health and safety of their fish is protected. When the site inspection and water analysis is complete, farmers are ready to feed their fish. Underwater cameras in each pen allow them to monitor feeding. When the fish stop eating, the farmer stops feeding. This makes economic sense, since fish feed is a farmer's largest cost. But just as important, it minimizes the effects of farming on the ocean floor. Farm salmon are efficient eaters, meaning that a large proportion of their feed is converted into growth and doesn't become waste in the environment. They are the most efficient of all food production animals, because they don't use extra energy to heat their bodies, to support their bodies in the water, or to forage for food. Depending on the time of year and fish age, the salmon may be fed two times or more each day. In addition to feeding their fish, farmers spend time each day maintaining the site and equipment, updating records, monitoring fish health, and analyzing and reporting on site data. Salmon farm work is camp work, with most farmers working shifts of eight days on and six days off. At nighttime, farm sites are fully equipped with the comforts of home, including full kitchens, satellite internet and television. Some sites even have exercise equipment. Harvest normally occurs 18 to 24 months after saltwater entry, when the fish reach five to six kilograms, or 10 to 12 pounds. Specially equipped harvest vessels, many former commercial fishing boats, take the fish from the farm to the processing plant. From the farm site to the retail counter is less than 72 hours. This ensures a consistent quality, fresh product year round. It tastes great and it's good for you. Salmon farmers are dedicated, knowledgeable people who care about their fish and the environment. It takes great people to grow great salmon. But you can't grow healthy fish without a healthy environment. BC salmon farmers ensure the sustainability of their operations through feed management, fish health, and environmental monitoring, adoption of new techniques and technologies, 
and consultation with communities and First Nations. Our operations have become an important part of coastal life and the communities we live in. We know that the health of our fish, our farms, the environment and our communities are interwoven and interdependent. We are proud to be part of the social fabric of British Columbia, its culture, heritage and future.